Nothing that's being done today wasn't done without a lot of preliminary work done by engineers and particularly surveyors. Geomatics is the study of geospatial measurement and a representation of those measurements. Geospatial means that space above, below, and on the surface of the Earth. So it could be elements like roads, bridges, lake beds, underground sewer and water lines. The main reason I decided to major in geomatics was I had already been working in the engineering field and uh, the, the areas that I most enjoyed in engineering were the geomatics areas. I'm involved in the survey part of geomatics, have been for 30 years, more particularly land development. A boundary survey would be to physically mark the property corners or the angle points of what a, a person or a company, an entity would own on the ground. If you drive by or down a new road or into a new development, you don't see everything that was involved in the surveying. When you buy or sell property, we typically get a deed or a piece of paper that describes where it's located but oftentimes we're not sure where that really is on the ground. How do we know where we build our fence or landscape to? How do we know if there's been an encroachment on a driveway? So when we talk boundary surveys or location, we're physically marking on the ground the limits of ownership for a particular party. Geomatics historically, known as surveying, has grown to encompass not only traditional land surveying, but also includes aerial photogrammetry, satellite imagery, 3D laser scanning, and digital mapping. Once the geospatial data has been collected, we develop precise and sophisticated drawings, digital maps, and 3D models using computer software like Computer Aided Design and GIS. I was hired by the AGRC in 2005 to try and improve the quality of GIS data in the state of Utah. So GIS, Geographic Information Systems, is one of the biggest components of what we do at the AGRC. And what that is, is we actually build um, maps from data. So the AGRC, the Automated Geographic Reference Center, is really the state's warehouse for GIS data. Involving students at, a, at an early age, actually, uh, it trains them to start thinking how important it is to act like a professional, to, um, to do their work as a professional, and to provide a deliverable as a professional. If you're the kind of person who likes to work outdoors, the nice thing about this profession is you can actually be out in the field on top of the tallest peak in Utah one day and the next day you're in the office and out of the elements. The thing that really gets me excited about this program and, and even this profession is, is really all the technology you're able to play with. If you like using technology, um, this is a great uh, area to work in because we're using all these fancy toys all the time. At the same time, you got to be pretty technologically savvy. In the public sector, you could work for various city and county governments, state government agencies like the Department of Natural Resources or Transportation, and federal agencies like the BLM, United States Forest Service, NOAA, or even NASA. And in the private sector, you could work for utility, communication, energy, and geographic companies, as well as engineering and surveying firms, of course. Starting salaries around $30,000 to $35,000 a year, and after five years to six years, you could expect to get an average of $63,000 a year. As a professional licensed surveyor operating your own business, you could even see six figures in a good economy. I had never heard of, never done the surveying side of things, but as I've been in it the last two semesters, it's been really intriguing and I've really enjoyed it so far. I work full time, so the ability to come here at night and get, you know, and still work on my degree and, and graduate on time has been a real influence in me and the reason I really like the geomatics program. The thing that I like most about the geomatics program at, at UVU is the instructors. The geomatics program at UVU is, is really good because all the instructors and professors that you've got have real life experience. I think Dan Perry has done an excellent job at picking out uh, professionals that are active in the industry and are not just accomplished land surveyors but have made a real-world contribution locally to the profession. I am excited about the geomatics program. I've learned a lot and I look forward to continuing.